Right. Um, there are many expectations. First and foremost, um, the expectations relate to the fact that they will have gone to one of the more successful economies. So the expectations are along the lines that um, we expect them to have uh, the latest knowledge, technological knowledge on various aspects. And uh, we ex also expect them to be innovative. Uh, that's now on the uh, technical part of it. Uh, on the other aspects, that they would have had the opportunity of going to Germany and meet with other people from different parts of the world. We expect them to be able to deal with the different um, um, with diverse people, people people of diverse backgrounds. So we expect them then for the within the UN to be able to um, interact with uh, and and work effectively in a multicultural uh, setup. Uh, the major advantage I see is that um, they, the students have the opportunity to learn diverse aspects. In short, they look at development in a broader context and therefore they, um, uh, they also would have um, learned a little bit, uh, quite a lot from other experiences from across the world. Well, because of their broad uh, approach to, to issues, because of their training, uh, I find them versatile in dealing with many issues related to development and, uh, and others. So they are versatile. Uh, the, uh, the fact that, uh, like I said, I got very sound technical, technical training uh, that um, that has been very helpful to me, but uh, beyond that, um, the broader uh, uh, part of the training was very good because it made me very versatile and uh, uh, it, make, it, it made it easier for me to adapt and to work effectively in different situations. Integration is one of the big challenges they face. Um, there's always this element of culture shock. When they go there, they get uh, used to the way of doing things in Germany, the efficiency they find in Germany, etc. But then when they come here to integrate, particularly in developing countries, to integrate into situations where things in many instances don't work as perfectly, that is a bit of a challenge for them. Um, when you want to get into the UN, it's not an issue of, uh, it's, it's less an issue of technical expertise because there are many, many people that are qualified in those areas. It's an issue of the other softer skills, competencies, e.g. communication, how, how you communicate, teamwork, integrity, those other things um, are much more important to be able to, uh, to, be, to, 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 to cope with work within the UN and be productive. The other area that I would encourage uh, the students to do, the applicants to do, is to profile themselves well, to talk about what they've done and how they've done it and profile uh, what they've been able to do well. And of course, the issue of branding themselves is very important.